Hey everybody, it is Friday, April 10th. We are ways into the COVID virus lockdown. State parks are closed, so no camping, unfortunately. They've even closed um, dispersed camping. So no camping, unfortunately. But that means that the campsites are empty, which is great. And we can come out here and film. So there's not a lot of people out in this more remote part of the park here at Frontenac State Park. So I came out here to shoot a video and show you a new piece of coffee gear that I love. I think it's amazing. And I would say coffee is a huge thing for me. So coffee every morning is a big part of my ritual. I hand grind coffee every morning. I traditionally use an AeroPress to brew my coffee. I think it's a great method. I use a metal filter. I tend to gravitate towards more medium to dark roast. I love espresso. I traditionally never do any sweet drinks at all. Never do any milky drinks at all. I am simply strong coffee, a lot of caffeine and sometimes espresso. So I've got something really cool in here that I want to show you. I think it's a great piece of camping coffee equipment and I want to show you how it works and just let you know my thoughts on it. So we're gonna we're gonna take this out. I got a couple water bottles today, so need to drink water. Boom, there it is. Caflano Compresso. It gets okay reviews online. Some are good, some are bad. I think that you need fresh coffee. You don't wanna buy stuff that's pre-ground for espresso. I find that that does not work with this. So you need fresh coffee and you need good coffee. I think the better the coffee, the better that this turns out. I'm not gonna go over what coffee I'm using, but I am uh, using a coffee that a friend sent us from San Francisco. So it is a good coffee, freshly roasted. I'm gonna hand grind it here. So I brought a grinder. We got beans in here. Make sure there's nothing else I need. All right, so Caflano Compresso, this is a portable espresso maker. It's very simple. There are some out there that are, they're mini presso. I think there's one called a nano presso. Um, all of those are heavier than this and they're a lot more complicated. This is about as simple as it gets for a portable espresso maker. And once again, what I find is that if you do have good fresh coffee, you are gonna get pretty dang close to uh, an espresso machine espresso. It has uh, really good crema, really good flavor. And it's incredible, this is seven, seven ounces, maybe a smidge less, and that's everything. Everything is in here that you need to make uh, espresso. Um, so I'm gonna kind of show it here real quick, kind of break it down for you. I might move my camera. All right, let's take a look here. So we have our espresso cup, we have our tamper. We're gonna just pull this out. I personally pull this kind of slow. I have had this come off. It's a little bit of a pain to get back on. Not a huge deal, but this is where you create the pressure with that piece there. And then we have our basket right there. All right, so I actually gotta get my grinder out. Ha! I can't not show this. We're going to do a future video on this. This is a Time More Nano grinder. This is legit just a stellar grinder. I, I can't say enough good things about this grinder. It's as good as any grinder that I've used. Ooh, almost tipped over. Look at how, watch this. Look at how cool that is. Boom. All right, anyways. We got our cook kit. I'm 
We've got a noisy bird over there, eh? This top is very tight. It's kind of hard to get off. Actually, I got this from Jeff Myers. Really nice job, but it, it could be a little bit bigger. A little bit. All right, there we go. got an extra cup so we'll we'll try the espresso and then maybe we'll we'll make it into an americano so i'll i'll do a little bit of extra water in here got our stove so the soto Great little stoves, all right. All right, cool, everything's in the pitcher. This is a grinder that can grind down to an espresso um, grind. Very lightweight. Um, so you you set your grind down here. You want to make sure that your your uh, handle is attached. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it in all the way, and I'm gonna back it out maybe about eight. That should be fine. With this grinder, because it does have a bit smaller burrs and bigger grinders, it does take a, a while to grind espresso, but that's all right. I got 15 grams of really nice coffee ground here. I have not made espresso out of this yet, so it's a nice kind of a lighter medium roast here. All right. It's gonna take a little while to grind this uh, because we are grinding it uh, down to an espresso grind. So burrs are kind of kind of tightly uh, together, tight together. So it's gonna take a few turns here. I'll go ahead and speed it up. All right. So it's this is pretty. this is the essentially an espresso basket, but in a portable form. Okay. This is this is our tamper. Basically, it also works as a scoop. You can tamp it pretty hard. Not bad. I'm just gonna clean, clean this off the rest of the way here. All right. So this part here will screw on. You want this nice and snug. And then you've got two tabs. Oh, sorry, two tabs. One, one in the back. All right. So.
Capilano Compresso. I personally like to fill my water up about to there. So, about to the 70 mark. This is a 60, right there would be about the 70. So I fill it about to the 70. I find that that makes a good espresso shot. So a little bit more than what, what the mark says. They tell you to fill it to 60. Almost got a boil. Mm hmm. Pot's starting to sing to me a little bit here. Beautiful, beautiful song. Song of coffee, boiling water. Oh man, we're almost there. Crank her up, going full power. Oh, she's a singing. She's a singing. Let's take a look, see. Oh man, that's a pretty boil. All right, that's that's what Sherry says. I don't do it nearly as good as him. He's much better at it. All right, so we are boiling. Let's see if we still got a good angle here. Yeah, we still got a good angle. All right, so we want to get this water in there quick. It's a little warm pick it up with this oh boy all right up to about the 70 now with this we are going to this is what I do. I'm going to do a tiny bit more here. A little bit more. There we go. Yeah, that's a little too high. That's okay, though. So we are going to push down a little bit till we 
start to see a little bit dripping out. There we go. So we got a little bit dripping down there. Look at how good that looks. All right. So that's where it gets fun. We, we want to push this as hard as we can. That's how we're gonna make this espresso. So mostly you're gonna wanna squeeze. Let's go. Great hand workout. There we go. All right. That, my friends, that's espresso. Right there. Great crema. Great bubbles throughout. All right. All right, you can see me. So, people say this doesn't make espresso. I do apologize. I, I set this down on the table. I'll rinse it off. So, usually I flip it over. I was just too excited for the espresso. So, cheers. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. So... I mean, if you like espresso, this this is an incredible, incredible coffee maker. I think personally that you don't have to grind your coffee out there. It takes a while. You're you're better off grinding at home if you have an electric grinder, just a lot faster. Or if you have a much larger hand grinder. If you're going car camping, by all means, take a large hand grinder if you feel like grinding it right there. Um, I'm seeing a lot of new things saying that you can do a little bit of a, a coarser grind on espresso. This was a very fine grind, but I don't know if you need that fine of a grind. Uh, to me, it's an espresso. Now let's let's see here. So let's try an Americano. Pretty strong Americano, so. Mmm, that's really good too. So very, very good. You, unless you make crazy huge batches in the AeroPress, and keep in mind the AeroPress Go, you're gonna use smaller amounts of coffee traditionally. Um, you're, you're pretty similar in terms of batch size with this to the AeroPress Go. So realistically, you are probably getting the same amount of caffeine out of this as you are uh, in AeroPress Go full, you know, full shot. You're probably using 15 to 20 grams and I, I don't know if there's more extraction in this or not. Somebody can definitely tell me, but you're at about half the weight, a little bit more than half the weight of the AeroPress Go. Um, I'm gonna show you here this assembly. So I'm gonna rinse this out. Just getting the coffee out of here. Not bad. Okay, that's water on the ground, so. All right, so I did bring a plastic bag out here, so I'm not throwing the grounds away, though I do believe that in the fire pit is okay. That's all right, though. So. I generally pull this out. You can see there's a bit of water still in the grounds there. And I'm just gonna, this I'll probably dump out, unfortunately. So actually I'll drink it, don't worry. No littering, that's gross. All right. So this is a 
this is the top here. In our basket. Comes out pretty clean. So it comes out kind of in a, like a small AeroPress puck. Not bad, pretty clean. The rest you can dump into a fire, you know, that's, that's not gonna hurt anything. So there we go. So not bad, pretty, pretty easy to clean. Then, you know, in camp, I would traditionally just let this dry out. Yummy Americano. All right, so if you want a very efficient, lightweight way to make fresh espresso on the trail, I believe the Caflano Compresso is an awesome, awesome, awesome option. So, about 65 to 70 bucks. I've already seen some people have had it for a year, two years. I think it came out a couple years ago. They're seeing no issues with it at all. Longevity, durability is there. It all packs down into this small package. So I couldn't highly recommend it any any more than I than I am. I couldn't recommend it more. So highly recommended. Awesome piece of kit. Great way to make fresh espresso on the trail seven ounces Caflano Compresso 70 bucks on Amazon I got it within like three days awesome piece of kit signing out during this coronavirus I hope you all are doing well thank you for uh subscribing hit the thumbs up subscribe if you want to I super appreciate it and I will try to cut this video in a way that makes it kind of interesting. So we're at 38 minutes. I'm going to try to make it, you know, 10 minutes or so. So, yeah, we'll see you.